hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video today we are going to be doing a very well awaited and requested video this is on how to do eyeliners 101 i will be able to cover up everything in this but um i've had trouble recording actually so i've just realized i have to go back to doing a 10 minute interval videos where i stop at 10 minutes and then re-record i no idea what's going on with the camera but hopefully this will record Okay, so as you can see, I have a plain canvas I'm working with today, and the reason for that is because I'm going to be showing you guys how to do eyeliners. Now, I'm by no means still a professional at doing eyeliners or anything like that, but when I first started off doing makeup, this is like before I became a makeup artist, and um, before I did all these like courses and things, I did a blog, and on that blog, I put on there how to do eyeliners and how I learned how to do eyeliners and I'm so stupid because I wish I just kept it but yeah the blog's gone anyway so today I'm going to show you guys how to do some of those and you know we can't just gonna go with okay because I know some of these tips and tricks that I'm about to share with you guys you probably already know them some of them are on TikTok as well but there are some other ones and again because a lot of the time there's some new people starting out there and they just aren't aware so I'm just going to kind of like give you guys some tips and tricks as we go along okay so the first thing that we're going to be doing and I always recommend this is to prep our eyes whether you use concealer or eyeshadow primer I primer sorry but I prefer to use um, a concealer because eye primers can sometimes from experience I've kind of noticed that eye primers tend to sort of grip onto your eyeshadows and they don't give you enough time to kind of like um blend and this is like an issue i've heard a lot of youtubers have who do makeup um they just don't prefer eye primers so if there is an eye primer out there that does actually work and lets you blend your eyeshadows before it gets all dry and tacky do let me know in the comments down below okay so we're going to be doing that first so i'm just gonna prep my eyes and I'm gonna literally be using this as a base. So let's bring this mirror in the front a little bit so you guys can see. So that way I'm looking directly at you. I'm not putting any makeup on today because this is just a tutorial. I'm not actually going out anywhere tomorrow. I've got to get the girls to school. So that'll be another day on its own. Right, the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna set your eyes. So you can use a translucent powder for this but you need to use something to set your eyes with because if you don't, you have the risk of creasing in your folds, in your crease as well. And on top of that, you have the risk as well for your eyeliners to actually start to um, transfer to the top part of your lid, okay? So for example, when I'm doing this, I will tend to notice throughout the day my eyeliner will start to transfer and that is something you just don't really want because you won't even notice and you'll be walking around with it just like that so that is what I'm going to do first so I'm just going to grab any decent palette and I'm just going to go in with the wet and wild palette and I'm just going to go straight into my crease and I'm just going to use sweep emotions to kind of go back and forth with a very neutral colour and just set that down Okay, so going on to eyeliners, there's a few tricks um, with this and there's a lot of eyeliners out there. I have four eyeliners. At the time when I was trying to record this, two of my eyeliners ran out, unfortunately, and I had to pick up a new one. I had to pick up a new one. So I've got this one here, which is a Rimmel Scandal Eyes, um, up to 24 hours, and it is Precision Micro Eyeliner. And then I do have this one here by a mask. I have this one here by L'Oreal Ultra Precision. And then I have an eyeliner gel pencil. And of course, my eyeshadow palette. There is so many ways that you can actually, um, there are so many products out there that you can actually use for eyeliners. I personally like to use liquid eyeliners and I don't really like using gel. Only because gel tends to be really hard to take off sometimes and it can smudge depending on which one you kind of use and that goes that is the same it goes for the gel pencil eyeliners as well 
I don't like using it, it smudges. But if you want to go ahead and get that smoky look, you can. But again, there's a high chance that it will smudge throughout the day. So I probably would not be using this um, and I don't recommend anybody else using it, especially if you're a beginner and you're just starting off. The other thing is you can use creamy eye pencils, but just make sure they're long lasting and they are not budge proof, but they are smudge proof. So yes, they are smudge proof, but not budge proof, if that makes sense. And of course you might need to smudge to budge, but as long as they dry down, you're good. Okay, so another important thing is about the tip of these eyeliners okay you need to work with something that is comfortable that you are comfortable working with I personally when I started off with eyeliners I wanted to go for something that was not too excuse me <laughs> I wanted to go with something that is not too flimsy and that is not too um, flexible as well at the same time so it's not too flexible but not too firm that's what I'm trying to say so this is the first eyeliner that I picked up when I got back into it um, into the makeup um, but again it leaves very thick marks so let me show you it leaves very thick marks and you, as you keep using it, it will start to get thicker and thicker because you're trying to make your line very straight especially if you've got very shaky hands I would not be recommending this it is just it is flimsy like the tip is flimsy can you see the the way it's flexing so that is too flexible for me the other one is the Ella mask which I hate there's no flexibility to this one at all okay and it's a little bit thicker here as well but there's no flexibility to it like I'd rather be using this for like face art um, or any kind of art, graphic art but yeah look at that it's a lot thicker than the L'Oreal one but just to know so I would not be recommending those two because you do need a little bit of flexibility but not too much and you don't want it to be completely firm but you want it to be a little bit hard okay so um, and the other thing as well that you can use is the eyeshadows so for example the only good thing about the eyeshadows is, is that you get a variety of colours in this and you can pick whatever colour you want say so for example you're doing a back to school look um, you can use brown you can use different kind of neutral shades here as well and you can just kind of like smudge out the flick towards the end and it's going to stay fingers crossed it will so on one eye I'm going to show you how to use the eyeliner I like this one because if you look at it very carefully the tip is just so pointy but it's not too firm and it's not too flexible it's just right see that there it's just right so on one eye I'm going to show you how to do the eyeliner and on the other eye I'm going to do it as powder but you can feel free to use whatever you want as long as you're comfortable the ones that I don't recommend for newbies and sometimes believe me you get eyeliners with this tip it's like the weirdest bristle tip ever and I remember using it back in the days and it's just a no it's just okay, a no so this is gonna be quite distracting because I have to keep cutting it off at 10 minutes I'm like what did I just say but anyway so I'm gonna show you how to do it now before I begin at this point you could put any transition shade into your eyes into your crease whatever you want to do with your eyeshadow you can do it now it would be a good idea so the first thing that I'm going to be showing you is the card trick very old card trick you know I'm sure a lot of you guys know but just for those who don't know it I'm going to show you so what you're going to do is what you would do shall I say let me just tilt my mirror is you will basically put it on the lower lash line so you can you kind of like see how I've left a little gap between my actual lash line and my my card well that's the kind of gap that you ideally want when you're doing this but you want to follow that same line and you're going to literally create a wing the good thing about this is that you'll get a straight line but you can always fill afterwards um, the downside to this is that you can't actually like use it at the top of your eye because that would just be absolutely ridiculous um, I don't recommend using that the other trick was the um, hairpin trick so you would line it like that and then just create a wing which again you'd feel just this 
tip bit here or you could put the oil on one and then just kind of use it as a stencil and then do the filling you could you could or you could use an eyeliner stencil which I've found for some reason so one second so actually I did find it and now I've lost it again but you get these kind of like stencils off Amazon where they literally have like the eyeliner shape and you can use that and put it against the only issue I had with that is that when you're trying to like kind of hold it still it could flap off so you might want to get something to stick it down with but is it really worth the hassle probably not I mean you could just learn how to do eyeliners very easily anyway okay so I'm going to start off first by showing you guys how to do the eyeliner. So um, the idea behind this is to keep it very close to your lash line, especially if you're going to be um, going to do a back to school look. So the person that requested this obviously wanted a back to school kind of look. I'm going to use black because obviously you guys can see it in more better, but if you choose to use a different colour that's absolutely fine, you can do that. Um, and then I'll show you how to do the eyeshadow on the other eye. But how I first started off was I used to do a dot to dot. Um, so what you would do is you would create like little lines. Do you remember when you guys used to go to like school when you were kids and you would do connect the dots? Well, that's how that's how I used to do it. So I'd used to put like little lines and then I'd fill it all up. Also. There's a new way that I've started doing eyeliner too now if I want to get it very, very like close to the lash line is I will hold the eyeliner at a certain angle like so. So you can see here, I'm not really good at maths. So I like you do the angle working out thing, but I'll hold it like sort of at this angle. So that way the bottom of this kind of like liner doesn't actually like touch my eyes only the side of the tip does so not the tip but the side of the tip touches like my actual eyeballs basically um, and I will only start from the middle of my my eye and then bring it out and then I'll go into the corner afterwards that's pretty much how I do it okay so I'm going to use that method and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about another good thing would be is that please if you have shake your hands girls um, or guys whoever's watching um, make sure that you're resting your arm on a desk at least something that's sturdy because you're going to need that especially if you have wobbly hands jiggly hands jiggly arms you know so you definitely want something to work on that's sturdy so as you kind of like go towards your mirror what I usually do is I look into the mirror but you can see that my face is kind of like a little up and I look down so I actually look down at the mirror because that way you've got all this eyelid space that you can work with and you can see much better another thing I want to say before I get on with it because I know I'm rambling a lot but this is a tutorial um, is don't stretch your eyes when you're doing that because can you see you're literally changing the contour of your eyes so by the time you put eyeliner on and you do this it's your actual eyeliner is following that stretched look rather than actually the contour of your actual eye D does that make sense like so for example what I'm gonna do is um, we're gonna do little tapping motions really close to the lash line so we're not gonna use a straight kind of like um, go straight in with it we're gonna take small little tapping motions and pat it as close as we can to the lash line at this point I don't want you guys to worry about whether it's straight or not because you can always fix that up afterwards just keep it very close to your lash line by using tapping motions okay then I'm gonna come back to this little in a corner and try not to talk when you're doing this because when I was making the tutorial that did not work I tried talking and it just went shoo, everywhere so okay so as you come into the inner corner what I want you to do is I want you to use the tip this time I want you to use the tip of the liner and what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to just kind of like 
it's almost like when you're colouring in so for example like say for example you're trying to get an outline of um, a picture or something you would actually like use the finest point or the tip of the colour so that is exactly what we're going to be doing because the inner corner is probably like the most narrow side and if that gets thick your whole eye is going to start to look very dramatic and dark and that would definitely not be very nice for a back to school look or any kind of look unless you're going for a whole dramatic evening look even then I probably wouldn't but still um, so that's what we're going to do so at this point if you want to go and straighten it out you can and this is the part where I do small kind of like strokes again without going full on I'm just doing small little strokes where am I going you can make it as thick as you want you can make it as thin as you want if I was to make this a little bit thicker I'd probably start doing the dot to dot if you're a beginner but at this point I just want to leave it and then I want to show you how to wing it okay so let's get the card no <laughs> okay I have to put this out there no eye is going to be the same as you can see my eyes are definitely not the same there'll always be different creases and different folds in your eyes the idea is to mimic it as close as possible to each other so that they look at least almost the same um, and that's what I'm going to do so this eye obviously is a little bit still a little bit more hooded even though I've had Botox but I feel like it's kind of going down a bit for some reason um, but yeah and this obviously is quite a height so what I'm going to do is again I'm going to put I'll zoom you guys in in a second but I'm going to put the card sort of as close as can to the lash line but not actually touching the lash line that the bottom lash line and I'm going to wing it out outwards so my tip of my eyebrow is literally right there I'm going to try matching that but if you want it to go out a little bit you can kind of like angle it a little bit more so it's not going straight up it's going a little bit at an angle and then what you're going to do is you're just going to grab that card and you're just going to go against it like a ruler and you're going to stop so i've brought mine out a little bit more just to show you guys so that you guys can actually see it but it's going back to school feel free to make it a lot smaller and the trick here with bringing the wing back in so i just said it <laughs> so what you want to do is you always want to bring the wing back in so you def you're going towards gravity basically um, because of that bump right there on your thing um, oh my god what is that your brow bone is that what you call it your brow bone right um, mine's a little bit thicker but yeah because of that brow bone you kind of want to just like bring it downwards because if you go upwards you're going to go over that bump so basically it's like riding a bike over a, a hill and you're not going to you're not going to be able to get it over without going a bit left and right which is why we don't do that but downhill is always easier because you're going towards gravity um, <clears throat> so this is what I'm going to do so again looking down I'm just literally do you see what I just did I didn't take my, my my liner off my off my eye when I did that so you're kind of using a straight line and going straight down Okay, so don't worry about getting it wonky. First few times, you'll probably get it a little bit like... It'll be a little bit off, but trust me, you'll get there. And that's the only time when I'd say don't take your liner off your eye. Um, but if you want, you can still use the dot to dot method to, again, follow that. That is probably another good idea for those who have very shaky hands. I do sometimes have shaky hands, so I would use that sometimes okay so I'm just gonna straighten this line out a little bit more there we go okay so now I'm just gonna fill that all up and what you want to do as well because sometimes I do see it but sometimes people forget to kind of fill in this little outer corner part here because Ideally you want to fill that in, otherwise it's just going to look off. So definitely make sure you fill that in. Now you see here it's gone off a little bit, it's gone a little bit up. 
So we're going to kind of like bring that in. At this point, it will look a little bit thick, but that's only because your wing is going to kind of kiss the liner that you've got. Okay, so there you go. So for demonstration purposes, that is how my liner is looking. Okay, it's going to... Okay, there we go. So I've just made it a little bit wider for you guys so you guys can see, but that is how this one is looking. Okay, so now moving on to the next eye. I'm going to show you the don't do first part of it, and then I'm going to show you how to do it with a shadow. Okay, so I'm going to just quickly grab a thin angled brush, which I definitely recommend using for this. Okay, and oh, we have to move this thing up. Look. Okay, so we're going to be using, I'm going to use this darker brown shade just so you guys can see because if I use anything lighter you probably won't be able to see it. I'm just going to take some on my brush and yes, it does make a difference with which way you're actually holding your angled brush. So what I would do is I would use the pointy side which would be this side going up, downwards. So I'd use exactly the same technique, the tappy motion. And obviously I do recommend using a good eyeshadow that's not going to have a lot of kickback or fallout. If you do have fallout with your eyeshadow palette, save your concealer for later and your, your foundation. So I'm just going to use Tappy Motions to get this on. Again, that's as close as I'll get it because my eyes are different. So don't, don't be alarmed if you think, oh no, okay, mine's too thin and don't look like hers or mine's too thick and hers is too thin. Everybody's like thickness and shape of the eye is different, so it will apply different to you. But you should get it as thin as possible if you're using the technique that I showed you at the angle of your liner, liner, the way you were holding it. Oh my god, it's so dark twisted. We got past the 10 minute mark, guys. It was like 30 minute recording, and I was like, no, no, no I've got to stop it. Okay, so let's go. Um, so I'm just gonna literally pat it on. And that's how mine is looking. Can you see that? Hopefully you guys can. Okay. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the wrong way of doing this versus the right way of doing this. I'm going to literally stretch my eyes and I'm going to go in with that angle. Okay. So let me stretch. And then I'm going to bring it down. So I'm going to twist my brush and I'm just going to bring it down how I would. Okay, so that's how this one is looking. Now you might say that looks all right, but actually it's not actually all right, okay? Um, and the reason being why it's not okay is because you kind of stretched your eyes contour and now your eyeliner is going out instead of going up or wherever you actually wanted it. At the moment, these two are matching each other right now, but I want to show you guys how versus like when you do do it that way and when you don't. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm yeah. grabbing the, the trusty card again and I'm just gonna kind of like wing this out. So when I do the wing with a pencil, you can see that now I'm still using the same technique where the brush is actually going to be heading sort of downwards still. And as I go in, that's when I twist my brush around, when I'm trying to def head back towards gravity. That's the best way to say it. So. Now I'm going to literally bring that wing down so you can see I've changed the, the side of my brush. And I'm just going to close my eyes slightly and I'm just going to pull it back down. Okay, fill it up. So what you're going to do at this point now is you can just use your finger to kind of like smoke it out, smoke the wing. Or you could just continue to use whatever's left on the brush and just kind of like smoke it out. So I'm just going to literally fill this up so you guys can see it. Because you can see it's coming off a little bit because my concealer, I've took that off and I should have put the concealer back on. Okay, so what you can do as well, another thing that you can do is you can actually take the eyeliner all the way to the inner corner or you can just leave it because it's eyeshadow even if I just leave it 
in the middle of my eye close to the eye, eye lash line it's not really going to make much difference and it still looks okay um but if you want to you can take it all the way down and again tapping motions is probably the best so what i'm going to do now is as i get to the inner corner for those who actually do want to get to the inner corner i don't use the flat side of the brush which is straight ahead i use the side of the brush so yeah i'm twisting a lot but i'm also trying to get my arm over the side so and again just kind of like tapping it on okay there you go so that's done that's it and then when you want to kind of like join the shadow you can always go underneath your eyes with the same shadow color so that it all looks even or you could just leave it as it is actually and that's absolutely fine so i kind of told you the basics of how to do the eyeliner again if you want to make the wing go up a little bit just push it up a little bit and it will like with the card and stuff um and if you don't have a card to hand the dot to dot method really does work so on this eye i'm going to kind of go over the dot to dot method over what i've just done with this um eyeshadow so real quick i'm going to show you so the dot to dot method does not work on the inner corner of your eyes that's something that you're going to have to do because i mean putting a dot on the inner corner of your eyes you're probably going to get a thicker eyeliner that is also something that i've learned so let's just quickly go through it Okay, so that is the dot to dot method hopefully you guys can see that and then all you've got to do is you've got to fill it in and then do exactly the same thing that I've mentioned so jo join all those dots in and then don't obviously go up with that but oh mine's come out a little bit And then you can just kind of like fill that in as well. Okay, and then you just go back in and fill in the, um, you can just go back in and fill out the inner corner, which is what I'm gonna do. So make sure you're following that same line of the contour of your eyes and then I'm just gonna go in I would definitely say give yourselves I mean this side obviously turned out a little bit thicker than the other side but this is demonstration purposes of course um, but just give yourselves at least like set yourselves a, maybe a timer of 10 to 15 minutes every day or maybe every other day once a week whenever you've got some time to just practice doing your eyeliners before you kind of go out but um while we're at it because i've done a mistake so i can quickly show you and this is why i always say i always leave foundation concealers till the end but you can always choose to go over that mistake with a concealer or you can get a q-tip and clean it off with um, with a q-tip and some makeup remover you can use wipe but it's a bit chunky or you wait till the eyeliner has fully dried and then go over it with some concealer but the concealer is wet so it might move the eyeliner around a little bit um, that's another thing but once it's kind of like dried down then you can go back in and mess around with it again that is how I used to do my eyeliners and that is how I began to do eyeliners until I became like pro and honestly it's not that hard it's it's not that difficult to do once you kind of master the hand shaky part and the angle of the wing um, but the rest of it is quite easy as long as you remember to stay very close to the lash line um, and hold your liner at a angle honestly it'll all work out just fine um, so let me know guys um, what you would like to see next as a tutorial if any and also don't forget to smash like share and subscribe down below also guys go check me out on discord um i know on the screen my id's not on there which i've been told i'm supposed to have an id but 
I didn't realize that. So my Discord ID will actually be in the description box down below. So you guys can go check it out. And yeah, I'll see you guys this week. Love ya.